Philippians chapter 1 verse 27. Only let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Christ. That whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear of your good affairs. That you stand fast in one spirit, with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel. The word conversation there, that is your citizen behavior. Your citizen behavior. That's the word conversation. So Paul, therefore, is teaching a country in view. A country. Now for someone who is a Jew and Roman, he is teaching citizenship. A country in view means God is creating his own country. The other ones were man created as it were. But God is creating his own country. God didn't create Nigeria. Men created Nigeria. Look at me everybody. God didn't create Nigeria. Men created Nigeria. God didn't create Ghana. Men created Ghana. God didn't create America. America, God's own country. God didn't create America. Men created America. God didn't create United Kingdom. Men united the kingdom. United Kingdom was part of European Union. Men sat down and said, we don't want to be part. Men took United Kingdom out of European Union. It's all man-made. All nations are created by men. Right now there's an agitation. Biafra wants a nation. If they go about it the right way, it could be granted. Oh yes. Men have the right to come together and determine their own republic. Meeting all the requirements. There's no God. Nigeria is a country of God. Shut up. Go and read your Bible. Stop acting your illiteracy in public. If you went to school well and read history, you will know how countries, you will know how nations came about. If you read your history well, except you wasted your father's school fees. If you are a good student of government, which every school offers, you will understand how governments are formed in nations. You will understand the political process. God is not a part of it. God is not a Men determine what they want. And God does not usurp man's will. I'm teaching good. I'm teaching good. See, I'm combining all the lectures your lecturer has given you in school plus re revelation. That's why you have to pay me very well. I'm blessing you, right? It's not God made. The political process is determined by men. That's why it is men that vote who becomes a president or who becomes a governor. It's not God. It's not God. God has never given any nation a ruler. Never. Whether the ruler is a good ruler or a bad one, every nation deserves the kind of ruler they have. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. I am not joking. Okay, let's let's look look at me everybody. <laughs> look at me everybody. Look at me everybody. Are you looking at me? Okay. The political process in every nation runs from grassroots to the top. And each grassroots community appoints who represents their interest. The people that represent their interest determines who rules overall. Is that not the process? Whether it is through the ballot box or selection or appointment, there were people who represented the majority who made the selection on behalf of the majority. I'm teaching good here. That thing. 
Somebody comes to me and says, Dr. Damina, I want to be a president. I want to be a governor. I want to be a local government chairman. The first question before prayer, did your people select you? No. Why are you coming here? So will God just carry you by force and put on the people? The people must select you. Because it's the people that you will rule. Go and listen to my teaching on why things happen the way they happen on the earth. God is not a part of it. God only becomes a part of it when you have selected the person. Then God will say, okay, let me see how much I can walk through this person to help these people. Because the person you already appointed will determine the level to which God can operate. I'm teaching good here. If the person say, God, shut up, God will say, thank you, sir. God will stand aloof and be watching. Some say, can we pray for him to die? Who will kill him? <laughs> That's why you see, bad rulers will live and live and live and live and live and live. You are praying for them to die. They are becoming healthier. The more you pray, the more they use your money to look for means of hell to stay healthier. Because God is long suffering, not willing that any soul should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So that's what we say. If you don't want the people in power, get your voters card and make up your mind within your community who to put to speak for you. If every community gets quality people, the quality people will produce a quality person. This political science. Let's put it aside. Let's come back to revelation knowledge. But you know, as your pastor, I need to help you understand things. So I'm saying, but the Bible says, by me, kings rule, and by me, princes decree justice. Have you read the pretext and the post-text? Who is me there? Who is speaking? To who is he speaking? About what is he speaking? Didn't they teach you that in CRK? That when you read a place, you should ask those questions. Who spoke? To who is he speaking? About what is he speaking? So when you see such a thing, go pretext and post text to understand context. If it's God that gives rulers, no country will have a bad ruler. Because all good things come from God. It's men that determine what they want. Because God gave man the freedom to choose what he wants. If I just give you a good revelation, shout a good amen. Yeah. 